Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Wilson current source. This topic is present in the subject linear integrated circuits. Wilson current source circuit. Widely used current source using current mirror technique is Wilson current source. High output resistance is the feature of Wilson current source. The Wilson current source circuit is shown in figure A. Here is the representation of the Wilson current source. In this Wilson current source, we have three transistors. Transistor Q1 and transistor Q3 are connected through the base and the emitter of the transistor Q2 is connected to the base of transistors Q1 and Q3. This is indicated in this diagram. The high output resistance is achieved due to the negative feedback through the transistor Q3. It also provides base currents cancellation making I suffix to nearly equal to I suffix reference. Let us discuss about the circuit analysis of Wilson current source. Applying KCL at node B. Consider node B. At the node B, the incoming current is I suffix reference and the outgoing currents are I suffix C1 and I suffix B2. So if we apply KCL at node B means I reference is equal to I C1 plus I suffix B2. Consider this as equation 1 and I suffix E2 this is equal to I suffix C3 plus I suffix B1 plus I suffix B3. That is, at the transistor Q2, the emitter current IE2 is the current that is coming out from the transistor Q2. This I suffix E2 is equal to I suffix C3, that is the current, collector current that is flowing through the transistor Q3 as well as the base currents that is flowing through the transistor Q1 and Q3. That is I suffix E2 is equal to I suffix E3 plus I suffix B1 plus I suffix B3. Consider this is equation 2. But as all the transistors Q1, Q2 and Q3 are identical. Hence their base emitter voltages and base currents are also equal. Therefore I suffix B1 is equal to I suffix B2 that is equal to I suffix B3. This is equal to I suffix B. Therefore, the equation 2 that is I suffix E2 becomes I suffix E2 is equal to I suffix C3 plus 2 into IB. Consider this as equation 3. Also, I suffix E2 is equal to I suffix E2 plus I suffix B2. That is, I suffix E2 is equal to I suffix E2 plus I suffix B. Consider this is equation 4. Now, I suffix C2 is equal to I suffix E2 minus I suffix B. That is equal to I suffix C3 plus 2 I suffix B minus IB that is equal to I suffix C3 plus I suffix B. Consider this is equation 5. But I suffix C3 is equal to I suffix C1 because the transistors are identical. Therefore, I suffix C2 is equal to I suffix C2 plus I suffix B. Consider this as equation 6. Now comparing 
equation 6 and equation 1, we can say that i suffix 2 is equal to i suffix e2 plus i reference. Now, i suffix e2 is equal to i suffix e3 plus 2 i suffix b. But i suffix b is equal to i suffix e3 divided by beta. Therefore, i suffix e2 is equal to i suffix e3 plus 2 into i suffix e3 divided by beta. That is equal to i suffix e3 open bracket 1 plus 2 by beta. Consider this as equation 7. Now, i suffix e2 is equal to i suffix e2 into beta divided by 1 plus beta. That is from equation 4. Consider this is equation 8. Substituting equation 7 in equation 8. Equation 8 becomes i suffix c2 is equal to i suffix c3 open bracket 1 plus 2 divided by beta close the bracket into open bracket beta divided by 1 plus beta close the bracket. Consider this as equation 9. Therefore, I suffix C3 is equal to I suffix C2 into open bracket. In the numerator, I will be having 1 divided by in the denominator, I will be having 1 plus 2 by beta into beta divided by 1 plus beta. Consider this as equation 10. From equation 1, we can write I reference is equal to I suffix E1 plus I suffix B2. That is, I suffix E1 is equal to I suffix reference minus I suffix B. That is, I suffix E1 is equal to I suffix reference minus open bracket I suffix E2 divided by beta. Close the bracket. Consider this as equation 11. Here, we have substituted the value of i suffix b. But as two transistors are identical, i suffix c3 is equal to i suffix c1. So from the equations 10 and equations 11, i suffix c2 into open bracket 1 divided by the denominator 1 plus 2 by beta into beta divided by 1 plus beta. And this is equal to I suffix reference minus open bracket I suffix E2 divided by beta. That is I suffix E2 into open bracket 1 divided by the denominator open bracket 1 plus 2 by beta close the bracket into open bracket beta divided by 1 plus beta close the bracket plus get the i suffix c2 divided by beta term in the other side to this side we get plus i suffix c2 divided by beta this is equal to i suffix reference so taking i suffix c2 as common i suffix c2 into open bracket 1 plus beta into beta divided by beta into 2 plus beta plus 1 by beta close the bracket that is equal to i reference therefore i suffix c2 into open bracket in the numerator i will be having beta square plus beta plus 2 plus beta divided by in the denominator i will be having beta into 2 plus beta that is equal to i reference that is i suffix c2 into beta square plus 2 beta plus 2 divided by beta into 2 plus beta that is equal to i suffix reference. Therefore, i suffix c2 is equal to i reference into beta into 2 plus beta divided by beta square plus 2 beta plus 2 close the brackets that is equal to i reference into open bracket in the numerator beta square plus 2 beta plus 2 minus 2 divided by beta square plus 2 beta plus 2 because I have to simplify this equation. So, I have added and subtracted 2 in the numerator. Therefore, I suffix C2 is equal to I reference into 
open bracket 1 minus 2 divided by beta square plus 2 beta plus 2 close the bracket consider this is equation 12 the equation 12 shows that the output current I sub C2 that is equal to I sub X2 and the reference current I sub X reference differ only by a factor which is of the order of 2 divided by beta square. Thus, low sensitivity of the circuit towards the transistor base currents are verified. So far we have discussed about Wilson current source and its circuits analysis. Let us see the review questions in the Wilson current source. Question number one. Write a short notes on Wilson current source. Question number two. With the need diagram, explain Wilson current source. This question is asked in an university, November, December. 2009. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.